Hey guys, Sialmo Graf here. How are you doing? I'm here to say that I'm back with this channel. I was really busy in the last year, a lot of projects, so I wasn't able to post tutorials to create content for you guys, but I'm back now and I will be posting a lot of videos, a lot of tutorials from Houdini. Today I'm going to show how to do a scene from this project you are seeing right now. It's a project I did in the beginning of 2022 with the guys from Circa. It's a new studio from Brazil and uh, they are really great. So I suggest you to follow their Instagram. I will uh, post their Instagram in the description of this video. And there is this scene from two liquids splashing and they don't mix, you know, like they keep separated. And I, I'm going to show how I did this scene. So let's dive into Houdini. So let's do this guys. I have this setup that's ready here. It's already working. So I'm going to leave this here for us to see and, uh, and check the, the values that work it so we can gain some time. Um, and I'm going to start it over here in the right. And uh, we are just going to, to check the, the values and, and use them just as reference. So let's start creating this sphere. I'm going to leave this in the center, uh, change here to polygon. Let's increase a little bit the resolution. So um, let's create here a transform node. This transform, I'm going to write three here on the I axis and uh, just this, and I'm going to create this flip source. Actually, I'm going to take the flip source from here. It's easier. Um, so I have these values that work, you know, and I'm checking this output fog option. So this is the only changes I did. Um, the particle separation here is going to get the, <coughs> the values from the dot net. Okay, so here in the flip object, I have these values. So just click here with the right, uh, the right click and go into cut parameter. And then you go here and right click again and go to paste relative references but uh, right now I'm not going to do this I'm going just to leave as it is so and uh, after this I'm going to create a group uh, and here I'm going to make this a uh, liquid one okay I'm going to change to points and right now all the particles from this uh, this up sphere here is going to be part of this liquid one group. It's important because we, we are going to have two sources, you know, this source and another one down here. So uh, we want to get different groups so we can separate the particles after the, the simulation. So right now I'm going to copy this right here and uh, I'm going to change for minus three and uh, here I'm going to put liquid two. Yeah, so let's click here, hold shift, click on the other node, and then hold alt key and go to click. So I get this merge here, and now both of the spheres I'm going to see them. And then uh, let's create direct the, the dot net. I'm going to pick the dot net from here. It's already done, so we don't need to make the dot net from from this the begin. So uh, let's jump in the dot net, and I'm going to see here we have the flip solver. It's like the calculation node. You you know the solver from, from the flip fluid. So uh, here if we have the flip object. Uh, let's click uh, right click like I said uh, that time. So we am going to the flip source. Right click here and paste relative references. And here I'm going to paste relative references, but I will multiply for 1.5, yeah. And uh, now we can just copy this here and it will be easier. So this is working already. Um, then let's see the nodes we have here. The volume source, it's uh, going to get the first contest geometry. We just need to click here and click in source flip. And the first contest geometry, it's the first input here. Okay, so everything working here to get our sources. Also in the activation, it's going to say dollar $f. Uh, uh, mm, come case, less.
and the activation nodes you're going to just to write like dollar f less than two this means that a uh, dollar f is the frame you are here and uh less than two uh, until the frame two all frames will have a value of one a positive value so it's going to be one in the first frame let's deactivate the, the simulation here it's going to be one here then the next frame it will be zero this will make you have like just one frame of emission you know like this is what we want just these particles to be part of the simulation we don't need a continuous emission so let's leave this like this and um, we have this pop force here it's 16 on the i axis the positive direction so it's going to make the particles going up and it's just in one group here oil is the word this is the portuguese word for oil you know like it's uh it was the name of the group in the original setup so i'm going to change it to liquid two okay so it will work only in these particles here these particles are going down because of the gravity force so we don't need to change anything here um, we also have this uh, pop force the activation is going to be dollar f less than 32 this means that uh, in every frame until the frame 32 this will be positive so i i, I don't want to this force to work uh, after the frame 31 okay so I made this uh, also here in the gravity, the same thing. I just want the gravity until the frame 31. And we have this pop drag, dot 5 is the air resistance, just to get some air resistance to the scene. And uh, the gas surface tension, it's a very important force in this setup. The surface tension will create these droplets we want, you know, and some tendrils in the simulation. It's very important to get a beautiful look. Also, in the flips over, we have a lot of options here. Uh, I'm going to show the important ones. So, in the receding, you need to deactivate the receipt. The receipt will make uh, it burn some particles when the density is less than some value. You know, like uh, it's we can see here the particles for per voxel is 18. Like uh, we ha when we have uh, less particles than the needed in some voxels, it will create more particles for us. But we don't want this because we want the, the liquid to operate and create this droplet. So we need to deactivate the receipt so it's going to work properly. Uh, also, I, I left this as splashy here. And uh, let's deactivate these nodes here just to show you some uh, great uh, tips for this setup. I'm going to deactivate it for now. And uh, I think this is it. So. Uh, right now I'm going just to get to get this flip object in physical and I'm going to create uh, some viscosity here so let's go back here and let's simulate to see what we get so guys this finished simulation so uh, we can see that it's very uniform you know like it creates uh, like a circle shape and I, I don't want this in this setup and this is because every particle has the same viscosity we don't want this we want like some variable viscos viscosity you know so we can get more randomization more noisy shape when we get the, the collision so we go back here and we are going to create a very important nodes in this setup that is this attribute noisy in viscosity attribute so it's going to get a viscosity attribute for us you know like if we come to the merge and get this info node in the info button here we can see that um, we don't have any viscosity attribute then we create this attribute noise and now we have some viscosity okay we can see here uh, in this viscosity we are going to say we want this it's a float okay it's viscosity the name of the attribute and here we want the range values to go from min, min to max and uh, we are going to mean value to be dot two the max value to be 1000 this is going to help us because it's going to to make uh, very different particles between the part the, this these particles the purple particles we get this dot two value and the red particles we're going to get this uh, 1000 value okay so it's going to get some very different viscosity in the scene and it's going to work uh, very well so uh, let's go into the dopnet and it will work it will not work if we go to simulate right now we need to dive in dopnet 
and um, activate this viscosity attribute and we can activate the soul viscosity of adaptivity as well so here we are going to to guide because we are seeing the viscosity you know um, I will leave this like that uh, if you want to see the viscosity in the simulation just need to get this visualization attribute to be viscosity okay so let's go to the to simulate again and I'll be back in a minute Hey guys, I'm back. So this simulated, and now you can see if I'm going to this collision, you can see this is way better now. We are getting some um, tendrils, some droplets going out, and this is working very well, you know. And I, I also I forgot to to show something to you in this gas surface tension. I have uh, animated um, attribute. Okay, this is this uh, the animated parameter. Sorry. This surface tension, I started this as zero, and uh, here near the collision, I animated this to zero dot four, because I I don't want the the surface tension from the beginning, you know, but uh, you need to know that this won't work if you get this to set initial the default values the default. Uh, option here is set initial you need to change this to set always so it's going to look every frame to this this parameter so the animation will work okay so uh, I think now this is working well we can keep going with this setup I'm going to create blast here and uh, in this blast I'm going to select the uh, liquid tool this will make the liquid tool to be deleted from the scene now you can see oh I, i'm going to wait the simulation again sorry so i'm back again yeah uh the simulation is working as you can see and this is only the particles from the top okay then we can duplicate this node and we just need to select the delete non-selected so it will keep only the particles from the liquid tool group as you can see we have just the bottom particles here and they are separated right now this will help help us so now we need to create the 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 mesh so just take this particle fluid surface from here it's uh, have some uh, some values here and uh, the particle separation left us dot zero weighting and the voxel scale the influence scale the droplet scale you can see the the values here and you can try uh, different values to, to see what work for you guys so filtering as well I made some changes here and I have this uh, mesh so let's go to like frame 30 so we can see let's uh, go I, I press T okay to get this menu I'm just going to dis disable this grid and uh, you can see oh let's click here so we get this red light uh, option so we can see the mesh here um, it's working as you can see okay and I'm going to also create the, the mesh from the, the, the bottom particles and uh, now we can click one click on, on the other and create a merge here now both uh, meshes are emerged okay I'm going to create a color for this mesh from the top and I'm going to make this red uh, also I'm going to click on the smooth shaded so we don't see the the polygons and uh, let's see here so here we have a problem as you can see uh, the particles are going to uh, cross each other you know like they are uh, on the same position in the space and this happens because uh, when you create the, the mesh the particles get some thickness you know like they, they got bigger so we need to make they they don't uh, be on the same position and this is so 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 easy like we just need to create a transform node it can be on the bottom particles just need to get like a minus dot one option and now you can see they are not uh, crossing each other again so 
uh, I think this is perfect for this this setup. And um, after this, we just need to, to render. Yeah, we can create materials, and we get this the setup working. So so you can see we have this two liquids splashing into other. We have um, uh, they are not mixing. You know, they are colliding and don't mixing. And um, I think this is uh, way better than the we have before. Also. Uh, you can when you create the groups here we can you can create different viscosities for each liquid like it's going to to work uh, much much better as well so uh, this is it guys uh, also I want to show you one more stuff like I have this setup here uh, down here yeah it's a setup I did after the tutorial so uh, it's just a uh, it's the same setup, but it's it's like updated. I, I made this this setup. I showed you like I made this in 2022, as I said in the video in the beginning. So uh, from there, I I evolved, you know, like I learned some stuff. So I made a new setup, and uh, I'm going to leave this simulate and show you the differences and what I made different. So I get a better result. So let's click here. Okay, go to the beginning, we are going to simulate this setup and I will be back in a minute. So uh, it's simulated and it, as you can see we have a lot of more details, you know, like we have a lot of droplets and much more particles and I think this setup is working way better than the setup I showed you before. And uh, the difference, uh, just a, a little bit of difference and I'm going to show you like first, um, here in the flips over, I uh, increased the sub steps a little bit. Yeah, before it was like one and two, and now I made both of them four. Uh, also, uh, let's see. Did you uh, here? I think is this is it. Like, and also here in the gas surface tension, I made this one dot two, and I made this because when we get uh. We, when we increase the surface tension, we need to increase the solver as well because it will not uh, hold uh, a bigger surface tension if you don't increase the sub steps for calculation. You know, so I increase the sub steps and also increase this, the surface tension, and uh, I, I made it uh, with more resolution. You know, before we had this dot zero fourteen, now we have dot zero one, so the resolution is way better as well. And um, I made this with time here. It's just a simple with time, you know. Uh, let's, yeah, let's uncheck this. So it's just a, a with time to get this uh, slow, slow motion here. And uh, the rest are the same, but uh, because I have more particles, I was able to get a more, uh, more resolution dimensional. So. I think the mesh is way better as well than the the previous one and uh, I made some material and I made a render and I'm going to show you the comparison between both of them and um, I posted this this setup in my Instagram so please you can go to my Instagram you can follow so you can check more of my projects there I think it's a great place so you can can talk to me and and ask for tutorials and this kind of stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'm going to make more tutorials soon so you guys can keep learning Houdini and uh, thank you see you guys